What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another legendary item review and in this one we're taking a look at a legendary that I'm not seeing too many people talking about and that is the Star Helix. Now before we get too deep into the review I want to point out that as of the time of this recording of the video we still do not have a designated drop location for this gun but once those are added in mid to late November 2019 I will add a pinned comment to this video to let you know where to farm it. In the meantime, you can run whichever boss is your favorite farm, be it Gigamine, Grave Word, Tront, or whatever, for a chance to get this gun. Now myself, I've got numerous versions of this one from Grave Word. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, this Dahl AR is without a doubt one of the best assault rifles in the game. It's got decent fire rate, amazing damage, decent mag size, high accuracy, and just about all the stats on this gun are average or well above. The red text on this gun reads, the stars are better off without us, which is a reference to one of my favorite sci-fi shows, The Expanse. Stars are better off without us. The gun's name is actually taken from the show as there is a private security firm in the show and in the books called Star Helix. Shooting this gun reminds me of the ACR from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The gun just feels good to shoot, it kills quickly, and it has that traditional sleek look to it. This gun has this weird thing that it does, however, where it shoots out extra projectiles from your initial shot, and they go out horizontally and then come back together and it, it's really strange to see, but it does work, so it's hard to argue against that. Now, the gun also uses only one ammo per shot, which is great considering that you're technically getting three bullets for the cost of one if you get all those shots to hit. But that doesn't really seem to be an issue most of the time from what I can tell. I believe this gun is only available in shock, cryo, and radiation as well as non-elemental variants. But if you've gotten fire or corrosive, please let me know down in the comments below. There's not much downside to this gun, but if I had to give one thing that I think is a negative, I would probably say the mag size. 24 mag is about average for dull ARs, but it is on the low end for ARs in general in this game. You can obviously make up for that with skill tree perks to increase mag size or artifacts or class mods that boost mag size. And that's, that's what I do right here on the Zane build that you see in this video. Also, the reload speed on this gun is pretty nice, so even though you'll go through your mag pretty fast, that reload speed will get you right back into the fight in no time flat. So with that said, if I had to choose one assault rifle in this game to use for any given situation, would it be the Star Helix? Eh, probably not, but, and this is a big but, the gun is solid. There are better ARs for certain situations, but this one feels solid in pretty much every situation. And because of that, I've had one in my inventory on each of my main characters from the point where I've hit level 50, and they just continue to stay in my backpack at all times. So that's my review of the Star Helix, but what do you guys think of the gun? Let me know in the comment section below. What's your go-to assault rifle in this game and why? Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, then please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, and tap the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.